Wait. <laughs> I'm back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Hey YouTube, it is Brie Hall and welcome back to my channel. Now I have gotten a little bored. I was also not feeling well last week. Thank you for all the well wishes. It was mainly just like allergies, post nasal drip. It was not too good, but I don't have COVID so like can't gang. God bless. But anyway, I got bored before all of this happened about two weeks ago and I went on to Sam's Beauty slash online and I was just perusing and I decided I don't know why I thought this was a good reason, but I decided to get a cornrow, not cornrow, but a box braid, knotless braid wig, okay? Here in LA right now, all of the braiding shops, everybody is closed still, okay? <sighs> Now that's a common misconception right now. A lot of people think LA is open, but it's actually not. It is now like they open more spots to do curbside pickup. So I have friends and people that be like trying to fly out here because we're open. We're not open. It's only phase two. But needless to say, let's jump into this video. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at I am Brie Hall so you can see the condensed version of these transformations as well as on Instagram at Brie Hall Official, Twitter at Brie Hall Official, Facebook, it's still Smarties the Beauty, Facebook won't change it for me. But anyway, without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this. I know a lot of people, myself included, like to see the actual cap being applied and all that stuff and seeing how you actually secured your hair. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. You're like, Brie, if you did all this, why not just braid your hair? Look, look, I wanted length, I wanted inches, and I wanted to see if this would work, so. What I did was, I basically did mini twists. Um, some of them have braids in them if the hair was a little thicker there to get it a little more stretched out. But yeah, so basically I didn't part or anything. I just kind of felt around and did some mini twists, which is good because it's a protective style. They are super oily right now because I'm trying to keep them as moisture as is possible. I think I'm gonna be playing with some more wigs this week. So and then in the front, I did like these little flat twists. Shout out African Beauty because I know that she does a method similar to this where she twists, flat twists the front and the back a little bit so yeah but i was like i need my hair really 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 flat for this since we're gonna try to make it look like braids so what i like to do is out of laziness i just cross these two sections over each other like so and then i go ahead and put on my wig cap now this is the closest wig cap i could find to me but we'll still add a little makeup so sometimes this works on the first try sometimes it doesn't we'll see up oh. See, this is what I'll be talking about. This is what I'll be talking about. Nope, okay. Sometimes I actually have to put a clip in my hair to get this to work the first time. Cause I just have a lot of hair, y'all. Okay, so I clipped it in the middle like this. Not a super important detail, but it just helps so I can put the cap on without a bunch of pieces sliding around. All right, that's as flat as we go and get, guys. <laughs> With my, my hair being the length it is. All right, so now all I do is I put my hair over that clip in the back give you a little vision here and then feel around a little bit and then I just tuck the sides in as much as possible I still kind of concentrate them to the back because I don't mind the back having that little little bulk just as long as the bump isn't like out here and then I just take the clip out carefully all right and then you might have a few pieces like me that just pop out I just stick them right under the cap put it behind my ears and boom nice and flat especially in the front which is where we need it most okay all right so next thing i'm gonna do is actually gel down my edges since this unit is a frontal i'm gonna just go in with my edge booster from style factor this is the blueberry flavor it's low-key my favorite i like the way it smells but some people don't like blueberry fragrance i like it okay and i'm just gonna take the lid and just put a little on my edges. I've learned my lesson in the past. You do not want to use like a wax stick or anything that has like a significant amount of oil in it. If, if you're going to be like going glueless or using any type of adhesive because you will get some lifting because oil is often what's used to actually remove lace front and glue. Like if you look at a, what is it called? Like C22? What I'm going to do is just take a regular Schmegula Dega edge brush. I got a new one. Those of y'all who have these know they get pretty gross after a little bit, even after a washing it they still don't get back to this state so I ended up getting a new one finally and I'm just gonna brush my edges up very gently and if y'all see me get red the real ones who've been here for a long time know that your girl just gets red I have sensitive skin um, it doesn't mean I'm gonna break out it doesn't mean that 
anything's wrong with the product. I'm not really allergic to the products I use or anything like that. It's just, that's just the way I am. I am a little on the caramel side, so sometimes that just happens. As you can see, what I usually do too is just take my finger and just push any little flyaway hairs under and then boom. So now that we're getting started, I'm gonna tell y'all the name of the wig. I actually got two in different colors, but this is the Cloud9 Swiss Lace um, hand braided lace wig, 100% premium fiber. The lace parting area is a four by four parting area. Um, this is the color one, but this one is like, the one that I'm gonna have is like a one fading into blonde. I'll list it in the description box below. And let's see, is there any more important information? Uh, natural hairline, it does come with baby hairs and it's from the brand Sensational. So yeah, y'all, I think that's everything. And it's also hot water soluble. So now uh, my wig stand, just morning y'all, looks a little crazy, but I'm bringing her into the frame. So I got my favorite lace tint. It's actually right here. And it is the Eben Lace Tint. It kind of goes on similar. If you can't get your hands on this, you can just get the Sally Hansen Leg Spray that everybody uses. But um, yeah, I like this one and I have it in the light warm brown skin tone and it goes on like a spray. Um, close to the hairline, I might actually end up kind of painting it on because I don't want to deal with like getting this in the braid. So this is the unit fresh out of the box. Um, it already, what I really like, it already comes with an elastic tie. Let me actually go ahead and cut off some of these little packaging elements like the little strings that come on it don't want those sticking out i have forgot to take these off before not fun now i'm gonna go ahead and actually since there's not a lot of parting space this won't take nearly as long as a regular frontal so i'm gonna just throw this on the wig stand the other way it might not fit all the way on because of the elastic but we're gonna try our best yeah this will do it's gonna look a little crazy y'all but this is what we're dealing with and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fun. So I shake it up real good and I hold it far away. I don't keep spraying continuously. I kinda just keep doing that. But as you see, the lace is changing color. Hopefully y'all can see this. And now that we're getting close to the front, I'm gonna put a little more in the middle. It's powerful. I'm gonna spray some in this cap right here. Okay, cool. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of paint it on. This takes longer, but you actually save time because you're not gonna do as much cleaning up. At the end, uh, trying to get it out of the actual unit if the spray goes through the lace. So yeah. And you wanna make sure you get by the ears too, especially. So I'm gonna just keep painting this on y'all and I'm gonna come back when she is finished, okay? All right, y'all, and to just get that double level of like canceling out those knots and not having too much texture on the scalp, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator in level 10, and I'm gonna just use the left hand side. So using this side, and I'm just gonna apply some right on the hairline area of my wig just so that it's not, I mean my wig cap, just so it's not so bright because I hate when that shows underneath everything so i'm mainly putting it where i know the color will show but i like this because it's a little bit darker so i know that i wear a lot of makeup all the time for just fun and i was like yo i noticed that it just looks better when you put a darker color on your hairline of your wig cap it'll blend in perfectly with just how your face naturally sits most of us have a slightly darker forehead so that actually works out perfectly some of this will be covered because I think I'm going to still use a wig grip. I'm not sure yet. That might be too bulky, but we'll see. Just kind of dot this on, which this is the, what is this? Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And I think this is in like golden, the shade golden. And I'm going to just put that in the middle because I know the middle parts tend to be a little bit lighter. And for your cap, do whatever works best for you, yo. Like this is just... Me experimenting and having fun. All right, so now we're going to put the wig on. Moment of truth. I let it set for a little bit. Y'all, we either going to look like Shamar Moore in Diary Mad Black Woman, or this might work out, but we're going to see. Let's, let's see what this does. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take the elastic band on the unit, and I'm just going to... I'm nervous, y'all. I don't know if you could tell. I, I didn't want to put it on yet. This could be a hit, or it could be a big miss. Wait. <laughs> Okay, it's 
it all the way on yet, y'all. All right, y'all, we're gonna work with this. I'm, I'm determined, we're gonna make this work. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna actually try and put my wig grip on and see if that actually helps. I noticed that it slid back a little bit on your girl. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a trial and error. If this, if I can get this to work out, I feel like I could do anything. All right, so the wig grip was a no, but I finally got the wig in, in a good position on my head. So what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of a middle part, I guess. It's still a little bulky, but we're going to deal with that. So I'm going to pull it down in the back. This is so crazy, y'all, though. The parting looks really good. I think I might either go wigless or add just a little more like color up here. I think that's what I need to do. And I might try this again with the ball cap method another time. I just didn't feel like it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and cut the lace. So I'm gonna cut the lace and try to avoid the baby hairs. I got my scissors right here. I'm gonna use my close-up mirror. Oh wait, that's too close up. Let me use my other mirror. <laughs> hey y'all, so we are at a crossroads if you will i have noticed there's a lot of wigs that i don't have to do the ball cap method with because of the type of lace it hides the scalp this lace doesn't i might do some adjustments later when i have more time but i'm gonna just go ahead and do the ball cap method because i want to actually see what this potential can do but this lace is a tad too dark for me and i feel like if i don't do the ball cap method it is gonna look fake so i'm gonna do that off camera and come back all right, y'all, so I did the ball cap method and it's actually starting to look a little bit better. The lace is still a little bit dark for me, but that's all good. We gonna cut these baby hairs in and see if we can get some things popping to them. So I'm just pulling out the baby hairs that they already gave us. And hopefully this can, you know, as baby hairs usually do, help blend the hairline. I'm going to grab as many as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs with the Got To Be Glue gel and my little toothbrush thingy. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the gel on my finger, uh, right? And then we're just gonna grab a few sections. Again, y'all, this is not a tutorial. I am experimenting. We are experiencing this together at the same time. might be getting somewhere we might be getting somewhere <sighs> praise his name y'all okay, so i do have a uh, redness from doing my edges again i get red easy so we're just going to lay this wig has some bulk right here i just believe it's the way the braids are stacked right now so i'm gonna put in some of this texture id foam the same way i would with regular braids and then just kind of place each synthetic braid in a way such that it's gonna lay flat on your head. And then, girl, I don't know, we might be, she might be giving something. I don't know just what yet, but, and I'm gonna tie it down to get some of this bulk to go down a little bit and see if this will help. This is just a satin scarf. So we're just gonna tie her down. You wanna tie pretty tight actually. Not so much that you leave a dent or anything, but y'all know what I mean. Okay, let's see. All right, y'all, so it is the next day, actually, and I went ahead and did my ball cap method the proper way. I actually took the wig off and, like, did the edges with the mousse, you know, like the traditional wig way. So now we're going to do the grand reveal. I am so nervous, but let's see. <laughs> what is life, y'all? All right, so I did... Ooh, Let's bring all of the braids to the front. I'm sitting on them because they are 50 inches. I'm gonna give y'all the full look in a few, but I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of what I did. Okay, so I wrote it down on my phone. Things that I've learned from this experience. Number one, follow all the usual wig steps you would do for like a colorful unit or anything that is drastically going to change your hair. So that means doing the bald cap method. Uh, you're gonna get a much, as you can see, cleaner result with that. That means really laying the lace doing everything that you normally would if you see any lifting on my ear tabs it's because I literally just put got to be on there I didn't put a full wig glue on because I'm about to make something else for y'all I have some more content coming but yeah follow all the usual steps you would to do a normal wig 
another big tip that i have for this even though again it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination i actually ended up going with a slight side part is to still try to customize your hairline even though it is a braided unit so one thing that i realized i had to do as someone with a lower hairline i actually took out the front four braids and i cut them and then i tweezed them like you would a normal wig and then i turned them into additional baby hair because in I'm trying to figure out where this should go Maybe right here. <laughs> in a normal wig, I usually have to kind of cut up for my forehead, but I also have very small forehead space on the sides. So I pull the wig down to where it needs to be and then I cut upwards here. So I think that helped the hairline drastically because y'all, I was giving you shamar. I was giving you shamar more off Diary of Mad Black Woman because that them braids was sitting thick and low. And we all know a realistic hairline isn't super thick from beginning to end, so. Another thing I also did was I noticed it was really bulky on the sides. I could probably get it flatter than this if I use like, I've seen people use like clothes irons, but if even if I use steam to just get the hair flat. But one thing I did do is I actually removed braids throughout the side area, cut a few that were like adding too much bulk to it so that it could lay a little bit flatter and look a little bit more like a knotless braid pattern, which I think it does now. Another thing that I also did was I added a little bit of powder to the parting space as i said before the wig cap since it's a swiss lace a little too dark for me so i did have to go in and lighten it up just a little bit because my scalp don't get no sun my scalp is is literally beige like so i um i did the best i could it could be a little more realistic but y'all this was gonna have to do okay <laughs> so let's get into the cons of this wig cons the hair that they use for braiding it is a little bit itchy. I've done my own braids several times and things like that. It's not unbearable, but it is itchy. So I feel like you might have to go ahead and do like an ACV dip on this hair just to get that that itchy texture out. I don't like that at all. I prefer a softer braiding hair as far as just like how it feels and dipping your braids in an ACV rinse will definitely get you right. Another con, the hair in certain parts of this wig is not braided all the way to the root. Big con for me because it makes it look like certain parts are grown out and certain parts are freshly done and I did not really care for that. Um, they tried to do it in the parts that don't show but some parts did show so I didn't really like that. Another thing that y'all will probably even notice here too is I just wish there was a little more density at the nape of the neck. I feel like there's so much density up here in the, the top region and I'm like usually with braids you will see a lot thicker bottom part of the braids that's something I would like to see because if I hold this up y'all see it's supposed to be a whole back section out here and I feel like another thing con I wish there was more parting space it is a 4x4 of course I knew what I was getting myself into but one day I kind of want to make my own unit with a full lace wig where everything is parting space so I'm very tempted now now this one is more just a personal preference uh, based on just my skin complexion. I do wish that they did go for a different type of lace with this unit. Even if it was a transparent lace. I know transparent laces can be harder to work with on dark skin women because they can have some flashback. But with, even with a transparent lace, you can tint it. You know what I mean? You can use a tint spray and you'd be good to go. But when you have this Swiss lace, I had to do so, so, so much to get it to blend with my skin complexion. So that might be limiting for, you know, people who want to wear this because I feel like it's such a it's such a distinct shade so even if you are like on the much darker side bruh this might be too light for you and you might go through the opposite struggle of trying to use a, a different powder to darken it and since it's such a thick lace I noticed that the foundation on the bottom of the cap didn't show through as much as I'd like so I feel like yeah it's just you really have to be the exact skin tone for this lace to work and I feel like that's only a range of like three skin tones and other than that if you're not in that range you're gonna have to work really really hard to get this this lace to blend so overall I really like the results though I am still shook that it's even remotely believable do you guys believe it I um, feel like again I might still go in and lighten up these parts just a little bit but I feel like for the most part this is this is giving scalp is it giving scalp or not like again as I said I wish there was more parting space because this is really just the parting space right here so I'm about to go ahead and do the part that everybody waits for in these videos I'm going to give you a final result of the front 
side and back of the wig. A lot of people, y'all don't be showing the back of the wig. I've done that in a video to my defense when I did my video on like how to wear your hair under a wig. But in my defense, I turned completely to the side. And for me, it wasn't about how the wig looked. It was about how flat it was in profile. But I digress. We will be showing the back of this wig today. <laughs> thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel y'all we are trying to get to a million this year we're it's we not trying we are going to get to a million this year y'all we are in what year seven year eight i don't know but this is the year for a million tell your mom your sisters your cousins your brothers anybody that doesn't know about this channel please please put them on so we can get to that million mark i love you guys so much see you in my next video what do you want me to try next? Uh, was this a fail or not? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, see y'all in my next video. Peace out, gang gang. Bye bye bye.